The Everglades ecosystem is one of the most biodiverse natural places on planet Earth. Southern Florida's warm tropical climate creates a perfect habitat for a multitude of plant and animal species which cannot be found anywhere else in North America. Ancestors of many of these species, especially the reptiles, have called these swamps and jungles home since the time of the dinosaurs. The tip of this mega peninsula is home to around 60 different reptilian species, including snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodilians. A wide variety of birds and fishes also inhabit this area of land, taking advantage of the plentiful food and near constant heat. For three days, I had the opportunity to explore this incredible location, filming and interacting with its stunning natural wonders. In this video, I will be showing you some of the incredible organisms that I found, and how they contribute to the overall health of the ecosystem. Starting at the top of the food chain, let's talk about the American Alligator. These enormous reptiles can grow to be well above 10 feet long and achieve weights of over 1,000 pounds. As top predators, these animals help keep the organisms in lower trophic levels in check, ensuring that the population of one prey species is not able to grow too quickly and throw off the natural balance of energy. I will be covering more about the biology and behavior of the American alligator in future videos. Competing with the native alligators for top dog in this ecosystem is the invasive Burmese python. Originally introduced through the pet trade, these massive snakes can grow over 20 feet long at max size, making them large enough to prey on items such as deer or even small gators. But while they are certainly very beautifully patterned and impressive in size, these snakes wreak havoc in Florida ecosystems. Very few habitats can sustainably support two top predators, and the Everglades system is no exception. The alligator population has been decreasing since the pythons entered the game, along with the numbers of prey animals such as raccoons and some birds. To learn more about the Burmese python, check out my previous video here. The next tier of predators in this ecosystem are some of the most common organisms that we observed while in southern Florida. Birds were everywhere, and fishing species such as this little egret were especially plentiful. The piscivorous, or fish-eating birds in this location, have developed two means of hunting their food, wading and diving. Waders, like the egret, walk slowly through shallow water, searching for fish or other aquatic animals to spear with their razor-sharp beaks. Divers, such as the anhinga, choose to take the hunt into the underwater world. Anhingas, or snake birds as they are called by the locals, are able to hold their breath and dive underwater for several minutes at a time, chasing down and gobbling up fish to eat. Their hooked beak ensures that their slippery catches do not wiggle free, and their transparent membrane protects their eyes from swamp debris. Both of these hunting strategies work quite well, and piscivorous birds help keep fish populations in check, while also providing food for gators and pythons. Well everyone, that concludes part 1 of the Everglades Ecosystem Overview. Today, we focused on the top levels of the food chain, and will cover the lower levels in future videos. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode, and learned something new about Florida wildlife. If you would like to support my channel, make sure to subscribe, and check out my fundraising campaign on GoFundMe. And as always, please feel free to post any compliments or criticisms in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your support, and I hope you have an amazing day. This is Ben Zeno of The Wall Report, signing out.